This is my last video. Of 2019. <laughs> I didn't mean to clickbait you. <laughs> well, I didn't mean to clickbait you that bad. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? My name is Dan. I'm into hiking and backpacking and gear and all that stuff. Uh, if you guys are into that stuff too, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. <laughs> so, uh, I'm sorry. That was a little clickbaity, not bad, right? So, it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so, today I want to talk to you guys about the stuff that I hate about backpacking, uh, which is really funny because my good friend Devin over at Backcountry Exposure literally just put out a video called, I hate this stuff or I hate backpacking or something like that. Total coincidence. Um, anyway, uh, go watch his video, it's awesome. I'll link it right up here for you guys um, and check it out. But I thought I would share with you uh, why I hate to backpack. And you, you guys know I don't hate to backpack, right? I mean, by now you obviously know I don't hate to backpack. Because um, I don't. I love backpacking. But I think that we all have sort of apprehensions, right, about backpacking. Even those of us who've been backpacking forever. And I thought it'd be fun at the end of the year just to kind of talk about, you know, some of the things that we don't like about backpacking. We always talk about some of the things we do, but it might be fun just to talk about some of the things we don't. And then, you know, you could share your stuff down in the comments below. It might be fun to read for everybody just to kind of comment and talk about it. But here's just five things that I can't stand about backpacking. So first off, I want to let you know that I'm going to be a little bit uh, vulnerable for you. All right, I'm going to tell you some stuff I haven't told anybody before, okay? So I don't want you telling anybody, okay? Don't go telling your friends what I'm about to tell you. I think people have figured it out. People have camped with me. But uh, the first one is this. I have arachnophobia. I hate spiders so much that um, I don't even like dead spiders. It's gotten better for me, though. I've, over the years of backpacking, it's gotten better for me. I'm the guy that when I get into my tent or my hammock, I've got my flashlight and I'm literally checking every possible corner for spiders. <laughs> I just don't like them. Um, I'm the guy that will make you walk first down the trail because of all the spider webs, okay? Uh, I want you to hit them first. Or if I'm in front, I'm waving my trekking pole like this, <laughs> up and down. So uh, I don't like spiders. So reason number one, I have a huge arachnophobia problem. Number two, uh, I hate to admit this, uh, but it's it's obvious, all right? I'm out of shape, and I need to get back in shape. Uh, it's been probably six, seven years that I've been out of shape, and I thought backpacking would help solve that. Uh, it didn't, because I don't go enough. I go maybe every you know, four to six weeks out on the trail and hiking some miles and that kind of thing, but that's not enough. I need to be exercising and eating better, and so for 2020, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm putting it out there, I'm gonna be, uh, uh, taking care of myself a little bit better. So I've had the trolls tell me that uh, uh, they can tell that I'm uh, out of shape, <laughs> which is totally fine because uh, I could take it. Uh, but if you look back at some of my videos, you'll see me huffing and puffing a bit. Um, it's not fun. So being out of shape has definitely made it difficult to backpack sometimes, high elevation or, you know, uh, elevation gain overall or certain miles and that kind of stuff. And it's definitely made it not fun at times. So. I will definitely be getting into shape for 2020. Cross your fingers. <laughs> the third thing I absolutely hate about backpacking is being in the middle of the woods and not knowing exactly where I am unless I have a GPS. I am the most directionally challenged person in the world. If you've watched any of my trip videos, there are several references in some of those videos to me being lost or getting lost or walking a mile in the wrong direction or something along those lines. Uh, let me just say this. I am never late to anything. I'm always on time to stuff. And if I don't know where I am and I'm on my way to get somewhere and I know I need to be there at a certain time, like before dark to be able to set up camp or whatever, it is a horrible feeling. I hate that. I literally live off of a GPS. I take a paper map with me when I can, if there's a good map of the area. I always have a compass with me and I always have maps downloaded ready to go on my phone so that I know where I'm at. And I've always got my Garmin InReach Mini with me. So um, it's not like I'm going to be lost permanently, but having that feeling of being lost is, is never fun. And it's definitely a reason I don't like the backpack. The fourth reason is that I am claustrophobic in confined spaces. My very first video on YouTube that I really actually tried to uh, put on YouTube for a channel was how to get over claustrophobia in a hammock. And if I was about a 10 back then, I'm about a three today. So it's definitely improved, but I still get kind of claustrophobic in confined spaces 
and it never happened until I backpacked before. Um, it was really interesting. It, and it only happens like when I'm like half asleep. So if, I, if I'm in a confined space when I'm wide awake, it's not a big deal. But man, like if I'm in a smaller tent or a hammock and I zip that thing up, um, sometimes I wake up in the night and I get anxiety and it just kind of freaks me out. So uh, I don't like it and it makes me not want to backpack. Here's the fifth reason, and it's a big reason, because if I go on a one-night backpacking trip, this reason makes me not want to go. It really makes me just want to throw in the towel on the whole trip and be like, forget it, I don't even want to do this. If it's a two- or three-night backpacking trip, it's uh, definitely a little bit easier. I never sleep good the first night of any backpacking trip, no matter what. And I filmed a video recently about how to sleep comfortable all night long in a tent and I believe thoroughly in everything I told you in that video and I do practice what I preach it's not about being comfortable it's not about like did I sleep with um, you know something poking me in the back from underneath the tent or anything like that at all I've definitely got the comfort thing down I sleep very comfortably with the gear I've got it's just the adjustment from you know sleeping at home to sleeping in the backcountry and it's always the first night um, but the next night, for some reason, I'm sleeping a whole lot better. But I think that's because I've gotten really tired from not getting a lot of sleep to hiking all day and then finding camp again. I sleep like a baby the second night. So anyway, not getting enough sleep in the first night, it definitely makes me uh, hate backpacking. But I think you guys know there's, there's a million reasons why we all love to go out into the backcountry and backpack, whether that's just to escape from life or to just be in awe of what God's awesome creation is or to, you know, just be with friends and just uh, have a great time out in the backcountry or whatever your reason is. I think there's a million reasons that can always, you know, supersede the stuff that makes us not want to backpack. And the more you backpack, the more those reasons for not wanting to backpack get less and less. So anyway, this next year, I hope you guys have an awesome backpacking year, an awesome backpacking season, and I hope you guys have a great new year as well. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released, and I will see you on the next one.